when you think of British royalty and racing, I know one word comes to mind, tractors. That is why today we have a tractor for us. Uh, this here is the Tractor, a 2018 Top Gear car. Um, as you can see, it is an A-Class vehicle right now. I purchased it via the auction house, uh, and I have not made any modifications to it. As such, what we will be doing today is attempting the Goliath event in the tractor. Uh, because, you know, why not? And uh, just straight away, you can see right here, it is not the slowest vehicle, uh, but also not the fastest. Uh, something to note is that at the beginning of the Goliath event, there are a lot of sharp, you know, windy turns. And as a tractor, um, actually, it's a surprisingly good turning range. Uh, so enough babbling, let's get on to the race. All right, so here we are at the event. And as you can see, um, our competition does not consist of tractors. In fact, they more so appear to be uh, more traditional road vehicles rather than uh, farming equipment. Now, luckily for us, the game does like to be nice and make all the rest of the cars uh, within a range that we can actually have a competition in. Uh, but because we are a relatively powerful vehicle, um, the stupid car right there gets stuck in front of us and it doesn't allow us to make the start off to the race that we could have and that also doesn't help that <laughs> we do hold back uh, 11th and 12th place if just for a moment. Luckily for us, our acceleration does appear to be faster and we can make our merry way. I hate this initial drive um, because it's very small and... When you've, you're in a race, you sort of just want to get up and get going as fast as you can. There's not a lot of space for movement. Uh, and it really, you know, restricts the potential you could, of a lead, I suppose, you can have. Because it's very small, sharp movements that don't allow for great amounts of variety in skill. You know, it's sort of just turning a lot of corners and whoever has the best acceleration wins, which isn't really the sort of start you want to this sort of long distance event because by the time you're in 10th place it's sort of hard to get make your way back up to first unless people down the line uh, really make a mistake and you can really just fault that to me for being in 10th uh, for doing stupid stuff like this that I am right now uh, but at the same time the restrictions and the amount of competition just to get your way towards the front of the um, placements within the first minute of the race is really is quite intense in a bad way. It's like you miss out, you miss out, there's nothing much you can do about it. Luckily for us, we do seem to be gaining a little bit of uh, distance on our competition and everybody does seem to be bunched up a bit except for the last two vehicles. Hopefully, as we come up to this turn here and people slow down, we can use that to our advantage uh, to mess it up completely. That's all right. We'll take the shortcut across the grass. Um, no, nothing to worry about, really. And we are now in eighth. I don't believe the rest of the race really will go like this. Uh, I don't want to crash into the house, so I'm just going to rewind there and take another shot at that. Uh, maybe slow down a bit this time. Um, otherwise, that would be dead last. And where's the fun in that? This is all about entertainment after all, we are racing a tractor. Uh, <laughs> which is something, knock another person out of the, well not out of the competition, uh, but we just drive a tractor into them, which you can imagine would have some great damage, but luckily for me, damage is turned off by my own accord. Um, but it does appear that because of the nature of the wheels on this vehicle, Large sort of drifty turns don't work too well. You have to be going slow uh, and really sharp sort of turns for it to 
work. So I need to take the corners a bit slower than I usually would in a vehicle like my whatever it's called, car that I drive. Um, ooh, and there is a mistake. Luckily for us, the um, sort of pushing we were doing in Skyfalls right there uh, did cause it to drift off a bit and didn't really do too much in the event. Uh, so they got straight back to where they were in second place. But hopefully we can weasel our way back to first. Is our acceleration is slightly better than theirs. Uh, just the Gallagher ahead of us. Uh, we're gonna do the silly thing of driving on the grass. Not much uh, fun in but, uh, following the track, you know. You got you got to get out there sometimes and do a little bit different. Really, am not enjoying all these turns. Uh, it's sort of a race where at the start of it you dread it, but by the end you're really quite enjoying it because it sort of spreads out a bit. There's less wind, well, less turns, it's more windy straights. And just like that, we secure first for the first time this race. Now, if you're any of these other drivers, you have to pin to yourself, how is a tractor beating me? That is just embarrassing. Uh, you'd sort of rock up to work the next day and people would look at you and just snicker. Uh, because you got beat by a tractor. When for Forza's events, usually the big ones, it's some big monster vehicle, like a plane or a boat or whatever, U-verse. Uh, you'd never really think a tractor would be your adversary, but, you know, these drivers, it is. Uh, that may simply be because the game, it's balancing, believes that these are the best vehicles to challenge a tractor, but, you know, who really knows? Now entering Edinburgh here. You can see the castle up there on the hill, I do believe. I could be wrong though. Maybe the lighting's just terrible. Uh, and we are almost at the best part of the event, where it's just a straight end. You can, if you're, you know, far back, you can really get up a lead, uh, you can develop enough speed and catch up to the rest of the competition. But luckily for us, we do appear to be managing to hold our own for the meantime. And we leave the competition in our dust. Which, you know, would be fitting. I would expect an attractor to have some dust on it. Even though this one does look pretty clean. Right, leaving the city now, we hit the beach, the more coastal environment, and we're reminded uh, that winds are apparently high, because that wind flag is straight on, just rippling there. Uh, have that one there, it's showing a different wind speed, well not speed, uh, direction, which is a bit odd. You know, maybe the wind did change. It'll be interesting if Forsley in the future introduced a bit more lore behind stuff or put a bit more information into its environment. Like that castle there, I have no idea what's going on with it. I'm sure I'd have to actually Google it to find out what you know, its origins are or whatever. It'd be nice if, just for whatever reason, it had a bit of information about it that I could find somewhere within the game. Maybe I'll drive up to it and it goes, this is blah blah blah, do you want to know about it? I go, yes or no. And, you know, I find out something about it, or I don't, you know? There's a bit of information for everyone. Maybe that would encourage the developers to be a bit more realistic with the layout of the map, and actually put things where they're supposed to be. I don't know about this one. Uh, I don't know how accurate it is, I'm guessing not very much so. But, at least with Australia, it was Australia by namesake, not really design, layout, uh, there were things sort of where they shouldn't have been, uh, and it's all just squashed down a bit, missed out on some of the really great stuff I feel like, but you know, that is what it is. Oh, it's we go off road there, it has been a while since we last saw our competition, oh no, they're right there on the mini map, 
Uh, so at least we're not getting too much of an advantage over them. Wouldn't want to think that we're demolishing them. I do believe we're coming up to the last section of the race. The race usually only takes between 10 and 15 minutes. So, you know, we don't have too much uh, left for us. And sweet. You can also recognize uh, by the environment that, you know, the houses are starting to appear. We're, we are entering the same sort of environment that we initially left off at. All in all, I feel as though the tractor has mostly surprised me. It does, you know, sort of fit into its own class as the sort of vehicle that you wouldn't really want to bring on a proper race, simply for the fact that if the race does involve more sort of turns, it's a bit, you know, difficult. However, the sheer size of it, uh, and it acting as an obstacle may be able to help depending on the sort of environment you're racing in. If it, it is a bit more of a smaller turning one, you can just sort of get yourself stuck around the corners uh, and stop the other drivers from really going anywhere. Make yourself known as a thing they have to beat to actually win, like, in the sense that they need to just get it out of the race completely. It, it, it's not going to be fun. And I imagine a race consisting solely of tractors wouldn't be ideal, or would be at least an interesting uh, event to watch, because of the chaos might be caused. If a tractor was a lower class, uh, a lower tier, you know, instead of A tier, I imagine this would be a different story. I probably wouldn't be enjoying this race as much as it's really weird with slower vehicles sometimes. Even though they are pretty low classes, the range of skill, well, capabilities within them is often odd. Some have really, really high acceleration, uh, which just makes them feel like a truly superior vehicle than others. Uh, and the acceleration alone is what allows them to win the races. Uh, while others just seem like, you know, a walking brick, basically, you know, they don't really get anywhere at any speed. You can see on the minimap now, uh, as I got paying attention to where I'm going, uh, that the race is about to come to a close, and we are solidly in first place unless I make a fatal mistake in the next few moments. Uh, competition is slightly behind us, but there's not really much they can do at this point to win. And with that being said, we now drift into the finish line and take our throne as the kings of the Goliath using a tractor. Nine second lead over the next vehicle. Pretty cool to think about. Before we finish, I just want to take the tractor to the festival and see if there are any really quite nice designs for it, uh, rather than orange. Um, hopefully these are all tractor ones. Yes, they are. Well, we got a John Deere tractor. A few it does appear. Uh, we got two uh, anime girl ones, just because we have a cat one. It's fun. Um, and some chemo, some other nice one. Hemp protein. Uh-huh. Uh, I do believe the John Deere one, just down the bottom here, I, I do like that quite a bit. Uh, actually, I think that that's probably the coolest, the hemp one. Uh, it's not the cleanest, but it does sort of stand out a bit. So, we will go and apply that just for the sake of it. But there we are. Here is the tractor in all its glory with Mr. Hemp right there. Alright, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy the video, hit like, subscribe, go watch something else. Maybe it's mine, maybe it's not. I don't really mind. Thank you, and have a nice day. Goodbye.